फॉर टॉलरेंस टेकअप एनालिसिस वट वी डू फर्स्ट फर्स्ट वी टेक फाइनल असेंबली ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट देन वी टेक कट सेक्शन ऑफ दिस असेंबली देन आफ्टर दैट वी प्रोवाइड द ऑल फिटमेंट डायमेंशन लाइक टू एम एम वन पॉइंट सिक्स इलेवन पॉइंट फाइव सेवनटीन वट एवर इट इज सो वी प्रोवाइड ऑल द फिटमेंट डायमेंशन लाइक दैट सो बाई यूजिंग दिस डायमेंशन वी कैलकुलेट द वर्स्ट कंडीशन केस बेस्ट कंडीशन केस एंड नॉमिनल कंडीशन केस सो बाई कैलकुलेटिंग ऑल थ्री केसेस वी इंश्योर दैट इन फाइनल फिजिकल पार्ट वी विल गेट द वन पॉइंट फाइव वन गैप बिटवीन द एल सी डी एंड वाइजर बॉटम सरफेस सो दिस इज द डिजाइन रिक्वायरमेंट सो गैप शुड बी वन पॉइंट फाइव वन एम एम सो हेयर आई वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्लेन हेयर यू आर एबल टू सी दिस टू टू इज द थिकनेस ऑफ द बैक कवर वी कैन से दिस इज द बैक कवर हाइट टू एम एम इज द बैक कवर हाइट देन नेक्स्ट वट इज दिस सेवनटीन सेवनटीन इज द फिटमेंट डायमेंशन ऑन विच वाइजर इज रेस्टिंग दिस इज ऑल्सो इम्पोर्टेंट डायमेंशन सपोज दिस डायमेंशन इज चेंज देन दिस गैप विल गेट अफेक्टेड एंड नेक्स्ट दिस इज द इलेवन पॉइंट फाइव इलेवन पॉइंट फाइव इज द डायमेंशन ऑफ द बैक कवर फ्रॉम दिस फेज टू दिस फेज इलेवन पॉइंट फाइव एम एम इज द डायमेंशन ऑन विच दिस पी सी बी इज रेस्टिंग सो दिस डायमेंशन इज ऑल्सो इम्पोर्टेंट दिस डायमेंशन इज द फिटमेंट डायमेंशन नाउ नेक्स्ट गो टू वाइजर वाइजर हाइट इज नाइन एम एम सो एज पर आवर थ्री डी मॉडल वी हैव टेकन वाइजर हाइट इज नाइन एम एम दिस इज द नाइन फ्रॉम दिस सरफेस टू आई वॉन्ट टू शो यू This is the 9 mm. From this phase to this phase. Suppose 9 mm is changed. Suppose this is decreased. So what will happen? This whole visor will get shipped in downside, and there will be chances of clash between these two parts. So this, so this fitment dimension is also important for us. Now next. Twenty one point eight. What is twenty one point eight? Twenty one point eight also is a fitment dimension. Suppose this dimension is coming lesser in physical parts, then what will happen? This profile try to move in downside, and there will be chances of clash between these two parts. Now next, what is this? compartment thickness this is the compartment this one 10.26 so this is also a fitment dimension this dimension also contribute for this required gap next is lcd thickness this thickness also contribute for maintaining this gap we can say this is the input data or these are the nominal dimensions what we have considered in our 3d model so here you are able to see the permissible clearance between lcd top surface and visor bottom surface should be 1.5 mm this dimension we have arrived from the 3d software so i am going to explain what is the concept for the tolerance stack up analysis in this we take three cases in first case we take nominal condition in nominal condition we already know suppose we add all the fitment uh, dimensions or all the fitment gaps then we get the 1.5 mm so this is the nominal condition next we take brushed condition in brushed condition what will happen the gap would be minimum between these two parts suppose this is the 9 so in 9 what will be the maximum tolerance 9.1 this is the uh, maximum dimension 9.1 suppose if we get 9.1 in our physical part then what will happen visor try to shift downside and this gap would be minimum so finally we will get the available clearance 0.56 this is the uh, minimum gap between these two parts in brushed condition first we have taken nominal condition second we have taken brushed condition third one we will uh, take the best condition 
this is the best condition in best condition what we need to do for this we will take the tolerances in such a way that we will get the maximum gap between lcd top surface and visor bottom surface so this is the example suppose this is the visor height is 9 and in best condition we are taking the tolerance in minimum side that is 9 minus 0.1 8.9 so what will happen this is the 8.9 suppose we get the 8.9 mm dimension in physical part then what will happen the gap would be increased uh, between these two parts so in that way we will consider the tolerance for the nominal dimensions so that we will get the maximum gap between these two parts so finally we have calculated the available clearance the clearance is coming 2.46 between these two parts so this meet our criteria so we can say that we are getting the minimum gap of 0.56 and maximum gap of 2.46 so in both condition there will be no clash between these two parts so this is the concept of tolerance stack up analysis for more learning in depth about tolerance stack up analysis tolerance analysis you should purchase automotive plastic design or plastic trim course